Today, we're going to be bringing you the results of our cheap versus steep soap making experiment, which we published on YouTube last Friday, and determining whether, in our opinion, it is worth spending loads of money on expensive soap making oils, or whether you can use the cheapest oils on the market and get a bar that is essentially just as good. everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name's Anne and along with my good friend Wayne we run this YouTube channel and we also run the Sussex Handmade Soap Company which is a small bath and body business based in East Sussex in the UK. Now last week we published a video on Friday showing us making a bar of soap using really expensive soap making oils and we also made a cheap bar of soap using the cheapest oils that we could find on the market. If you haven't yet watched that video, then pause this one and go and watch our other video first. I shall link it up here somewhere because this is the results video. So if you haven't first watched the other video, this video probably isn't gonna be quite so informative or as entertaining. So today we are analyzing the results. Although the video was published last Friday, the soaps have actually been curing for about five weeks, six weeks, now so they are ready for us to do the tests and analyze the results so just to remind you this was our steep expensive bar of soap this was our cheap one uh, the ingredients again are all listed in the prior video uh, the expensive bar of soap came in at a cost of depending on whether you were using small quantities or whether you were buying big quantities of ingredients this ranged from £2.49 at its cheapest up to £6.57 per bar uh, the cheap soap on the other hand came in at looking at my notes 45 pence for the cheapest and £1.45. So basically, if you're buying wholesale ingredients, the cost per gram comes down and that does affect the price. But essentially, between 45p and 145 to create this one, and between 249 and 657 to create this one. So now we are going to analyse. So the first thing we're going to analyse today is the scent. Some of you may remember from our previous video that we used a very expensive lavender essential oil in the steep bar, French high altitude lavender. And in our cheap bar, we just use bog standard cheapest lavender essential oil that we could find on the market. But we did make sure it was pure essential oil. It wasn't a fragrance oil. It wasn't mixed with anything. It was a pure lavender essential oil, but it was the cheapest one that we could find. So now I'm going to have a little smell of both the bars and see how that scent has come through. Probably won't be so interesting for you guys because we don't have smell of vision but the expensive bar. Now there is a lavender scent in that. It's fairly faint, but it's a nice lavender scent. It is floral and it smells like lavender. Really can't say a huge amount about it other than it just smells like lavender fields. Let's test the cheap one. And to be completely honest with you, they smell identical. Um, when we first made the soaps, the smell was coming through stronger in the cheap bar, but actually now they've cured, it's pretty much identical. I can smell it. I can smell it in both of them and there is no real difference whatsoever. So like I thought, I would definitely recommend using a cheaper lavender essential oil for soap and not splashing the cash on an expensive one because an expensive lavender oil with its therapeutic reported benefits they aren't going to survive saponification anyway so you're better off saving the expensive lavender oil for something that it's really going to have its benefits in such as a leave-on cream or a massage oil or something where you're actually going to reap those benefits because in soap my opinion don't even bother right the next thing we shall look at is how the soap actually looks and feels. Obviously, there is a color difference in these soaps. The yellow color that is in this one was achieved through the use of the rosehip oil. And that was just a kind of byproduct. You know, the color is secondary to what we actually used the rosehip oil for, but it has given it a really pretty yellow color. And that yellow color has completely stuck through the curing period. It hasn't faded and it is a really pretty yellow color. The cheap bar, we've got a nice creamy white colour. It's a very nice pale cream. It isn't brown, it hasn't faded. It's a nice 
creamy white bar. Nothing special, but that's kind of what soap looks like when you don't add in anything for colour. In terms of hardness, now both of these bars, because I squeezed this one earlier, are really, really firm. They are really hard, which I'm attributing to the coconut oil that was present in both recipes. Um, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be long lasting when they are used in water because coconut oil, although it attributes hardness to a bar, doesn't necessarily make a long lasting bar of soap. Um, but they are really firm and I can barely even make any indent. If I had to choose, I would say this one is very fractionally softer than this one, but really it's barely noticeable. Um, the other thing we had when we were making the soaps is this one got so thick so quickly when we were actually bringing it to trace and it was hard to pour it into the mould and we ended up with some strange kind of ugly looking bars. Um, I picked the best one to show you guys today obviously but there are still a few kind of little marks and imperfections and I think let me just grab one of the worst looking bars just to show you what it looked like. So this was one of the worst looking bars. It is an end piece, but you can see how because it thickened so quickly, we had real trouble getting it into the mould. So that is an ugly piece of soap. It's still going to be perfectly usable, but it's not the most attractive. Whereas the cheap soap poured into the mould really nicely. It got fairly thick, but it was definitely easy to pour easy to texture and in terms of workability the cheap soap actually wins on that scale because this one was definitely hard to work with. Now to be completely honest with you there is not a huge amount more that I can actually discuss about these soaps other than what I've told you so far but there is obviously that one hugely important key factor and that is how they are going to perform when we wash our hands with them. So for this, we're gonna be doing a blind test just to make it fair and accurate. And because I don't trust myself to not try and work out which soap is which just through how they feel and the shape of the bar, I have meticulously cut two little squares of soap out of the cheap and the steep bars and I've tried to make them look and feel as similar as possible. Now we're gonna don a blindfold fill up a bowl with water and analyse how they perform when we wash our hands with them and how our skin feels after using them. So now for the most important part of the testing, the blind test. And we are taking things very seriously, so we do have the blindfold. Right, I'm gonna pop this on now. And then Wayne is gonna pick one of the two bars of soap, which are just off to my right. And then he's gonna place one in my hands <laughs> for me to perform our blind test. If it's a spider, I'm actually gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, right, okay. So I'm gonna test this bar of soap first. I've also got my eyes shut, so I've got no clue what bar this is. I'm gonna go in. And because it is the first time it's been used, I'm going to need to work at it a bit to get up a lava. Ooh, soapy. Right, I'm going to go in and just see what I can work this into. So my initial feeling is it doesn't feel like this one is actually especially bubbly. Of course, what you guys are seeing on camera could be completely different. I could have loads of bubbles, but it's not feeling especially bubbly. It feels nicer. It feels creamy. It's got more of a creamier kind of lather to it. And now that I'm rubbing it between my hands like this, I'm starting to think I'm feeling slightly more bubbles. It's definitely a very creamy lather. It's not slimy, like an olive oil bar can sometimes feel slimy. Doesn't feel slimy. Feels quite nice and kind of, I know you're not meant to say moisturising because soaps are not moisturising, but it's got that kind of quality to it. Oh, I'm getting some bubbles now, I think. Yeah, so now I've introduced some more water. Definitely 
getting some more bubbleage going on. <laughs> this feels so strange. Right. Well, that felt nice. It felt like it lathered up nicely. It didn't come bubbly straight away, but now I'm using it. Actually, the more I'm using it now, the more I am getting bubbles. So it took a little while to work up to that bubbly kind of lather, but now I've got it. It's feeling good. It feels good on my skin. I like it. Oh no, just realised I've got to dry my hands now. Where's my tea towel? Oh. <laughs> Help me. Oh, thank you. Right. <laughs> so now to see how my hands feel after I have dried them off. And obviously, if this is a completely fair experiment, I should really wait a little bit of time before using the second bar. But that would involve taking my blindfold off and then I'd see which chunk of soap was wet. And I don't want anything to interrupt the blindness of this test. So we're just going to do them one after the other. My hands don't smell especially, especially lavendery, but they don't smell bad or anything either. They just smell, they just smell clean. In terms of how my hands feel, they do feel soft. They feel clean. They feel soft. And that is definitely a bar of soap that I would be more than happy to use again. I'm quite, I'm happy with that bar. I would use that bar again. Let's try the other bar now. Wayne, if you could be so kind. Okay, let's try this one. And we'll do the same again. Oh wow, but it's so entertaining for you guys, just sitting watching me wash my hands. It's like 2020 all over again, isn't it? Wash those hands, people. Happy birthday. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so this one actually, first off, it, it feels possibly a little bit richer. It feels like it's coming to a lather a bit easier. It's still got that very silky quality to it. This one I feel has worked into a lather quicker and easier. To be honest, these bars actually feel pretty similar to each other. I think it's going to be hard to work out which one is my favourite. This one just seems to lather perhaps a slightly better. It's not huge, great, big, fluffy bubbles, but I've got a feeling that it's going to behave like the other bar. And when I dunk my hands again, it is. Actually, this is a really nice, creamy lather. Oh, I haven't smelled this one. I can smell them. I can smell the lavender more in this one. But then maybe that's just because I used the first one. So my hands already had a touch of lavender on them. I like that. These bubbles feel more, <laughs> more foamy. The other ones felt more fluffy. <laughs> I know that sounds daft, but hopefully you'll have a vague idea of what I mean. I think I'm going to be hard pushed to actually choose which one I prefer. Oh no, I dropped that tea towel on the floor, didn't I? Okay, hang on. I'm going down. Uh-oh. Oh, where's it gone? <laughs> have you got it? Have you got it up there? Did you pick it up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Success! Hmm. Right, let's dry the hands after that one. Again, I can't really smell the lavender on my hands anymore. It's there when I kind of wash with it, but when I dry, <coughs> it's kind of gone away. Hmm. Well. Well. A or B? It's hard. I liked the feeling of B, I think, but I'm trying to work out if my hands feel ever so slightly drier. But I've just washed my hands twice in a row, so you can't really use that. And actually, even now, they're, they're feeling softer. Yeah, again, my hands feel soft. They feel clean. They don't feel stripped of the oil, of my, you know, natural oils. But that second one does feel like it was ever so slightly more cleansing. Which in itself makes me wonder if it's actually the steep bar I've used second, because I know that had a higher cleansing rating. So, in terms of the bars, I 
liked the feel of the second one for washing. I felt like it came to a lather a little bit easier. I liked the feeling on my skin. The bubbles weren't quite as fluffy as the first one, but I personally don't mind that. You can see the blindfold off. I can't because the soaps might be there and then I'll know which is which because I know where I put them. Or I no, I've moved them. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, blindfold is off. I didn't know if you'd moved them or not. So, oh, light. <sighs> it's really hard. They are so similar. In fact, they're so similar that I don't think I'm going to advocate making a soap with expensive oils because they are that similar. But if I had to choose... I think I would go with the second bar as my preference. But now we've got to see which one Wayne likes. Time for some revenge. <laughs> I should have put the blindfold on. <laughs> you should have put the blindfold on when you were already behind the table. Come to me. Okay, yeah, you're basically there. You're kind of where I was standing. Okay. Hello, I'm Anne. Welcome to the Sussex Air Man Safe Capley. You're awesome. Along with my good friend Wayne. You're what? marginally taller than Anne as well. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you could just squat down a little bit to get your head in shot. Hello. <laughs> Don't worry, it's only chopping, it's not chopping your eyeballs off, it's just sort of chopping the top of your head off a little bit. It's fine. Right, I'm going to give you a soap now. Hold out your hands. There you go. All right. Oh. What are you getting from it? How's it feel? It feels like soap. It feels like I wash my hands so many times a day. I'm not. I don't know. About <coughs> it's just. Does it feel good? Does it feel bad? No, it feels fine. It feels <laughs> creamy. A bit creamy. <laughs> uh, yeah, feels good. Lather it up nice, but then again, you have been. You primed it. I primed it for you. <laughs> towel boy. There you go. Thanks. This is a towel and it? it's not like an old... <laughs> an old what? No, pee. <laughs> oh, God. You just alienated our American audience. No, I didn't. So I, didn't. I was, oh, right, yeah, was going to say, uh, <laughs> diaper, sorry. Yeah. Right. Where's the onion? Right, where's the... It smells like onion. That's a clean tea towel. Oh, you've been using it, though, haven't you? Yeah. With your onion hands. Oi! I do not have onion hands. Oh, oh these sound effects, they must be... <laughs> something like a hammer horror. Got some good sound effects going on there. Uh, this one feels better to me. It's creamier. Creamier. But yeah, this one feels better. Sorry, it's my head still. What are you doing? Nothing. Mm. <laughs> that one feels better to you. Yes. Yes. Okay. So your preference is for the second one I gave you. Hmm? What was the question? Second one feels better to you. Yeah, I prefer the second one. Straight to the point. Lovely. Okay, cool. Right, we can take your blindfold. I've moved them so you can take your blindfold off. I'm not I'm going off camera again. Okay. Well I'm gonna swap places with you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way. Ah! <laughs> right, so now time for the reveal. I know what Wayne's picked. He knows what I've picked. So, let's see. After three. Oh, yeah. You just adjust me back in. Get me framed right. So, after three, shall we point to which one we each chose? Three, two, <laughs> three, two, one. Ah, oh, there we go. A double win for the cheap bar of soap. Goes Who to show. Goes to show, doesn't it? Who would have thought that? That's kind of surprised me, but it's kind of really good because it means that on our very scientific test, that actually expensive oils don't necessarily equal a better bar of soap. So we had a unanimous victory for Team Cheap, <laughs> which is essentially how I live my life, isn't it? I am cheap and cheerful. But 
There you go. Those are the results. Obviously, you guys may have different skin. You may prefer different things, the way things feel. You know, everyone has different preferences. But for me, I did like that second bar just slightly better. And to be honest, even if it turned out I picked that as my winner, I still would have said, don't bother with the exp expensive oils because they were actually, to me, pretty similar. And it was really hard to choose a winner. But obviously, we have both come out in favour of the old simple lard bar. And everyone says that lard makes a really good soap, so now we can concur. That is it for today. I hope you've enjoyed our results video. Obviously, it's been shorter than many of our other, other videos, which I'm sure some of you will see as a bonus because I do waffle a bit, a lot. Um, we will be back on Tuesday with another video. Leave us a comment leave us a like, <laughs> give us a subscribe, hit the notification bell and do feel free to let us know if you've ever done any similar experience, experiments, experiments and if you have done what your own conclusions are as well and we will see you on Tuesday for our next video. Bye for now. <laughs> My hands are so silky.